Hello, Year 7 and Year 8, and welcome back to week 4. So this week's topic is about the human body, and this is lesson 1 of 2 based on this topic. Okay, so just as a reminder, the four facts that you will need to learn from this lesson are that the organisation begins with a cell and ends with an organism. An example of an organ system is a circulatory system. The functions of a skeleton are the following there on your screen or in your fact book. And the last one about the nervous system consisting of the brain, nerves and spinal cord. So you should have those in your fact book and we're going to start with four quick questions based on the previous facts and we'll see how we get on. So the four facts. What is a specialised cell? Give an example of a unicellular organism. State a non-contact force and what does the nervous system consist of? If you could pause the video and have a go at those four questions, we'll then go through them. So, the first one, specialised cell, that means it's adapted to carry out a certain function. An example of a unicellular organism is a eugelina. State a non-contact force is magnetic and electrostatic. There's some examples you could have. And what does the nervous system consist of? the brain, nerves and spinal cord. So we're going to take a look at, first of all, the different levels of organisation within a human or an organism. So you've got five different layers and this is known as hierarchy. So you've got it starting from a cell, going to a tissue, going to an organ, going to an organ system and then it makes an organism. So we're just going to break those down and we'll see a bit more information about them. So a cell is the building block of life. So for example, you've got your red blood cell, you've got your muscle cells, you've got different types of cells in your body. They will group together in similar cells and to make a tissue. So muscle cells will group together to make a muscle tissue and so on and so on with other further examples. An organ is made up of different tissues, so the heart, that is made up of, you've got your muscle tissue in there as well, you've got your red blood cells as well in there, you've got different types of tissue making that up. An organ system, organ system is a group of different organisms, or in particular organs, so the circulatory system, so you've got your heart, you've got your blood vessels, you've got lots of different organs in there, and different components that will make up an organ system. An organism is made up of several of the organ systems. So, for example, a human, that's made up of lots of different organ systems, such as the endocrine system, you've got your nervous system, you've got your circulatory, you've got your respiratory. So there's lots of different types of systems. So an organ system, just to repeat, is a group of different organs that work to perform a certain function. And you've got various different organ systems. So you've got the circulatory system and that transports blood around the body. You've got the respiratory system that takes in the oxygen and removes the carbon dioxide. Remembering that we don't want carbon dioxide in the body because it can build up and be poisonous. Reproductive system, so this is one that will develop into a fetus. So you've got the sperm in males and you've got the egg in females. The digestive system that breaks down and absorbs the food, which is very important. Muscular skeletal, so that supports the body and causes movement by the muscles and bones working together. So all of these different types of systems can be affected by different types of disorders or diseases, some of which you might know. The immune system protects the body against infections. So they're just some of the different types of organ systems that I'll just go back to and you can see some there. If you could want to research and find out a little bit more about each one and then send me across the information, that would be perfect, that would be great. Or just email your teacher and we can get back to you to see how well you've done. So the skeleton's functions are that the bones make up your skeleton and the average adult has 206 bones. That is part of your muscular skeletal system and it's a really important system. So the main functions are support, protection of organs, movement and the making of blood cells. So without our skeleton we wouldn't be able to do those four functions because the making of blood cells is actually inside your bones. So in something called your bone marrow, if you want to 
find out a bit of extra information about that, you can go away, you can research about bone marrow. So the nervous system is made up of three main parts. So you've got the central nervous system, that's your brain and spinal cord. Then you've got all the nerves and the neurons, and that makes up your peripheral nervous system. Without this, you would be in a lot of danger. You wouldn't be able to stop your hand from getting burned. And some people also have slower and quicker reactions than others. And this is where it all links in to the nervous system. So it controls your bodily functions, the brain being the main part. Okay, so that was quite a quick one. I have asked you to go away and research some extra little bits, which will just help your knowledge develop and help you go over those key facts as well. Now, the next lesson will involve these facts that are in front of you now. So we're going to start looking at more of the digestive system and about the immune system and being overweight and underweight. So those four, five facts you will need to know for next lesson. So if you could go away and you could learn those from your fact book or just off this slide, that would be great. So I will see you for lesson two on the human body.